Tonight's story is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. I'm Pearl Jr. and I am here with a local Santa Barbara TV star, TV host, TV producer. His name is William Wagner and the name of your show is On, On Se Second Thought, yes. TV. Now you have been covering the Michael Jackson trial. From a year and a half ago I've been covering this trial, but I've been more than that, I've been studying this judge for 12 years and I've been studying this prosecution team for at least eight years. And what is your opinion of them? Are they just really out for headlines? Or are they out to really lynch Michael Jackson? Oh, this is beyond just a lynching in a railroad job. This wow. is this is like um, a corporate conspiracy that has hijacked our prosecutorial team of Santa Barbara District Attorney's Office to make sure that Michael Jackson is bankrupt. Wow. This is this, that serious. Oh it's it's well we've got the prosecutor caught in putting fingerprints of the child's fingerprints on a girly magazine. Yes. At the grand jury mm. hearing. Mm. The magazine the boy said was exactly the magazine Michael gave him at Neverland Ranch, except the magazine hadn't been published yet <laughs> when he was last at Neverland Ranch. So right. we now know Tom Snedden had to or should have known that. So we have Tom Snedden, the Santa Barbara district attorney of 25 years or more, wow. planting evidence mm. to hang Michael Jackson. Uh, beyond that, we know his number one investigator, Terrence Fra, mm -hmm. investigated this family, uh, Janet's family and the two boys and the girls, and came back and said there's no criminality here on Michael's part. Right, because Drop LA it. County passed. On, on, on That's the right. They mm -hmm. said, forget it. This, you're not going anywhere. Tom Steddon still wasn't happy, so he put him somewhere else and took two inexperienced restaurants and said, go get a warrant. Tom Steddon personally went down to Beverly Hills in L.A., digging up, digging around, trying to find people, and he then becomes subject to becoming a defense witness. This is weird. Yeah. When the, the elected <laughs> prosecutor is now subject to being a defense witness because he went and did his own investigating without the consent of Sheriff Anderson. So right now, if the if, if the trial was over, if they were in deliberations, what do you think the jury would come out with at this stage? I think the uh, jury would have to because the jury instruction will be if you find people lied, which they did. All of them. If you find people uh, of low character, which they are, then you are entitled to come back uh, and find that there's too much reasonable doubt and find not guilty. And I think, Michael Jackson, if the trial stopped today and jury instructions were given tomorrow, they would have to come back and say, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. On every charge, you'd have to find him not guilty. The only thing they could find Michael Jackson guilty of is being too kind to people. That's right, and being too loving. In the evidence, the most important piece of evidence was the tape of the accuser who spoke to the police when he made the first allegations of being sexually molested. Um, in that tape, he said he doesn't know things like what 
his body parts were, or it, he, he looked very strange, and it seemed as though he's lying. And the jury, the foreman of the jury, believed that this child was lying, and the whole jury ultimately agreed that the child was lying. This boy studied acting, and it, it just doesn't seem real. Also, this family that the boy came from was looking for money and they approached many celebrities for money because the boy had cancer. And in fact, the two boys, the accuser and his brother, alleged that their mother was sexually molested by uh, guards of a department store on the cement parking lot. And then they admitted on the stand that they were lying about this. So it, it made it very... Uh, easy for the jury to make a decision about the truthfulness of this family. They, they were not truthful. They admitted to lying. My name is Larry Nimmer. I'm the guy on the left having lunch in Michael Jackson's kitchen. I was part of the Jackson defense team in my capacity as a documentary filmmaker and legal video specialist. I was hired by Michael Jackson's legal defense team. When I took the job, I was uncertain about the truth of Jackson's guilt or innocence. What I experienced working on the case opened my eyes not only to the dangers of celebrity, but also to a dangerous side of the American justice system and the media. At first glance, the Arvizos seemed like well-intentioned, kind, fun people who had grown up in difficult circumstances in East L.A. However, it came out at trial that the Arvizos were not as innocent as they first appeared. Well, there's no question that two young boys lied under oath to support their mother's claim that she'd been sexually abused by J.C. Penney guards. Flanked by a new team of lawyers and a mob of loyal fans, Michael Jackson is facing his most serious court challenge yet, a 10-count indictment on child molestation charges. The allegations include lewd acts with a minor, giving alcohol to a child, and a conspiracy count involving alleged child abduction. The singer has pleaded not guilty to all charges. A 19-member grand jury handed up the indictment a week ago after finding enough evidence to take the case to trial. The closed-door proceedings replaced the need for a preliminary hearing open to the public. Jackson was on time for today's court appearance. Last time, the judge scolded him for being late. The judge was not pleased about what happened outside the court either. I have a very short statement to make. First of all, I want everyone to know it's a great honor and privilege to appear in this courthouse before Judge Melville, who is an outstanding and fair and very decent judge. It is an honor and privilege to be in the wonderful community of Santa Maria. And I want to make clear what this case is about. This case is not about lawyers or anyone else becoming celebrities. This defense is going to be conducted with professionalism and dignity at all times. This case is about one thing only. It's about the dignity, the integrity, the decency, the honor, the charity, the innocence, and the complete vindication of a wonderful human being named Michael Jackson. Thank you. Do you have a no question? question? Okay. I would like to thank the fans around the world. Could you speak up, please? I would like to thank the fans around the world for your love and your support from every corner of the earth. My family has been very supportive. My brother Randy, who's been incredible. I want to thank the community of Santa Maria. I, I want you to know that I... I love the community of Santa Maria very much. It's my community. I love the people. I will always love the people. My children were born in this community. My home is in this community. I will always love this community from the bottom of my heart. That's why I moved here. Thank you very much. Mr. Mesro, were you surprised that count one with the new conspiracy charges? Anyone who has the effect that he has, that's a total gift from God. And why would he mess it up to do the things that they're trying to say he does? There was also a strong police presence and no sign of any members of the Nation of Islam. Jackson had hired them for protection, but after a lot of criticism, he has distanced himself from them and is now reportedly relying more heavily on his brother Randy for advice. 
And you'd realize, you know, people are treating him like he's not a human being.